we did have a script and we worked on that. We wrote it for one and a half years. And during the shooting of the film, we intended to say that reality and fiction were supposed to get blurred. And quite often we acted the scenes the way they were written in the script and then we did it again, but leaving it open. Everything was always allowed and uh, uh, you know, everybody was supposed to bring his and her character into the film and really do the scene the way he or she felt. What really mattered to me was that we had a, a less than prefabricated approach. In other words, that nothing was sort of laid down and rehearsed in front of a mirror and and rehearse it to death, but that we remain fresh and that surprises can happen during the work. And quite often we had a moment where I told the actors, are we do it again, but very differently from how it was written down. You can say anything you like, but not what is written down. My question goes to uh, Bjarne Mädel. We, we tend to know you from comedy series, Stromberg, Mortemit, Aussicht, German detective series. Now you're acting this very serious role, which you did fantastically well, very genuine. What is more like you? Where do you feel happier? I think from now on, I see myself at the Berlinale for many years to come. Um, I've actually uh, also become a fixture here, at least in my mind. No, honestly, um, it was fantastic for me to get offered to play a role like this, for which, uh, Anna, many, many thanks. But I don't really make, say that this is so different. I mean, if I play a comic character, it's supposed to be comical, and I, I work just as hard at that as I do playing a serious character, so it wasn't that much work. I mean, I've been an actor for some time, and I can be quite serious. It wasn't my private life. I can be quite nasty and, um, serious too, also on occasion. So it's, it's not toll, something that makes a lot of difference to me, kann, but it's brilliant that I can show also I can do a serious character too. How about doing the research for this film? Eltern, did you end up talking to lots of parents, vorher, especially lots of women, before you wrote the script in order to get some sort of feeling for the subject? Oh, certainly. At the beginning, I noticed it's really difficult to find people willing to talk about this openly. It was quite easy to find doctors and midwives and all sorts of specialist carers because they are confronted with that subject and deal with it quite a lot. Obviously, it doesn't leave them without trace and they have a lot to talk about this and they think making that film was very important. And then I, I started trying to find a couple and it was tremendously difficult. I, I went to internet for a, tried to find that. People wrote me, wrote back to me every time, but just having a phone conversation proved very difficult. But sooner or later, I did find somebody who was willing to talk. I think these people just talk to me because um they are, I mean, the woman in, in the case of this couple was pregnant, so they were going to have a new baby. So that made it possible for her to, to take that step and talk to me about this earlier situation. There were very intensive discussions. We spent hours in the cafe somewhere in Berlin crying. We just cried our eyes out and talked about this, how, how it was with these people. And I absorbed all of that and then went to a car with me. Um, we recorded it, listened to it together, and then we put it into the script. Some of the things are sort of one-to-one -one, uh, renditions of what was said. It is a, an experience of the people. I ended up talking to three couples, two couples and one woman, to be precise. My objective was in diesem Film auftauchen und keine to Schauspieler sind, make sure that the people who appear in this film, the specialists, the doctors and so on, which aren't actors, are genuine doctors, physicians, who act darstellen. as physicians and who, who don't act a role but who are physicians. Of course, it went so far that I wanted to make sure that a doctor who does real life abortions would do the abortion on the set and that was tremendously difficult. To together with my assistant, Hannah Weisenborn, who was somewhere in this room, both of us spent ages looking. It was very, very difficult to find somebody willing to do it. And then there was somebody who said, I'll do that for you. I think this film is a good thing. It's a good thing you do it, but I don't want to show my face. I said, okay, I want to do a fictitious film or cinema film, so how can I do this without showing the face? So I went to Friedel, the cameraman, and said, how can we work this? And he said, all right, we can make this the concept. We could uh, not show the faces of several people sort of on purpose. And of course, that doctor didn't want to be recognized because he's frightened. He gets letters uh, from people He's condemned out of hand. He, he's got sort of rotten eggs uh, that people have deposited outside his surgery and so on. And therefore, I gave him a new name. And I said, oh, gosh, what a name. What shall I come up with? I said, oh, uh, let gi let's give him my name. So that was a spontaneous decision just to use my surname. And the, the good thing 
Es hat ein I mean, schönes Ende genommen. It's a good ending to that, film, actually, because he, he didn't want to be mentioned uh, in the film. Is, His real name wasn't supposed to be mentioned. And we sent him the scenes where he appeared after the editing, and he looked at it and he cried, and he wrote me an email, and he said, this was so uh, impressive. You can show my name, you can leave my voice. Um, pity that I didn't show my face. <laughs> Er kommt auch zu einer Vorführung jetzt. And, and he's going to be at one of the screenings here. Kompliment, and for me, that was the, the greatest compliment I could be paid, because he, he decided that the scene we did with Julia and Piano was so realistic that he really thought it was real. I was surprised that the husband was so vehemently in favor of the child to live much more than the woman. Is that borne out by your research? Have you found out that it's frequently the case that men want the child to live, or is it rare? Unfortunately, I don't know whether it's more the man who wants that child or more the woman. I honestly cannot tell you, because I never read anything about this particular issue. As far as I'm concerned, in, in this case, it was clear that it had to be the, the, the man who wanted it more. We have actually discussed it a bit, in so in, um, but you know, the, the more and more doubts coming up in the woman. You see that in the character of the man, too. At the beginning, he's not entirely sure, but the more difficult he's emerged, the more sure he is in himself. I mean, he, he, his convictions firm up, as it were, in the process, but at the end, he'd probably say, I don't know whether that was right or wrong, that I wanted this child. I think it's a similar thing, just going the other way. Dann habe ich diesen Film and then wahrscheinlich auch gemacht. I ich probably hab, uh, also did this, this film because I uh, aborted a child und once before um, the third month. And that is why so this subject was something an, that uh, was interesting to me from the beginning. That was probably the, the initial und point. And I stuck with it. Und und immer, was ist I always dann, thought, you know, what happens also weiß, if, I mean, kind, also weiß genau, I know exactly how old the child I aborted would be, and I keep thinking about it. Uh, what if a woman aborts a child at, at a later stage, you know, 24 weeks, what happens then? Because that's almost a complete human being. What sort of feeling must that be? As far as I'm concerned, it was very important and also encouraging in the work um, on that film that everybody I talked to, the people who were affected, were in favor of me doing it. And um, never mind how they decided in their own lives, they were all in favor of making that film and telling it as it is. And they, they, they were in favor and really encouraged um, us. And, and I think they wanted to make sure that it's a subject we can talk about, we can talk about. Somebody asked not that long ago what I would like to, to happen as a result of this film. And I think it would be great if after seeing that film you have this feeling that there is a greater openness to discuss the matter and that there is more understanding for the decision that people make, whichever way they decide. But they, they may well be people who suffer even today that they aborted a child. And these people should be supported. They, they should be given support. That they can share their experience. Many of the people and the used Menschen, the opportunity of talking to Anna to get rid of some of this, this emotional ballast and other people who have children with some sort of would have or have children with uh, 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 problems like Down syndrome or whatever, that they get a proper supporting framework. Uh, that is my wish, really.